First, it was the coronavirus, and then, of course, the protests now taking place nationwide. And if you're a parent, really, it doesn't matter if you're a parent or not, but everyone, we're all thinking about how do we find ways to help not only ourselves, but also our children cope and understand what's going on. Our Kevin Rader shares with us a story of how an eight-year-old girl from Westfield sees this issue, and she's trying to help. First, it was the virus. Then it was racial unrest. That's a lot for anyone to comprehend, especially if you're eight years old. Avery True decided to write a song about it. She, she sang it to me, and I said, we should pass this along to Uncle Nate and Aunt Debbie. Maybe they could, they've got some free time. Maybe they could turn this into a song. So Avery sent this version to them in New York. I am a stream and a tree. And they turned it into this. I am a stream and a tree. Debbie Chong did the vocals and Nate Hopkins did the music, but the lyrics and the graphics were all Avery. I wrote Bravery because I was feeling very scared. And she spent hours <laughs> doing all those pictures. It was a lot of time, but it was worth it. And I will not. The song started as a message of hope written by a second grader from Shamrock Springs Elementary in Westfield to help get through the isolation caused by the coronavirus. But now both mom and daughter feel the message also applies to the racial unrest currently raging across America. We kind of see this song is, speaks to that as well, that you, know, you have to be, be brave and be bold and speak your truth and um, have family to help and protect you. Uncle's brother, grandparents, parents, we all, we all jumped in. The plan now is to post the video and share its message with other kids and adults. Well, I hope that um, people listen to it, and I hope kids and adults all get inspired to be brave, strong, and bold. Um, and I hope that they know that we're all going to get through this. Bye.